Hello, today I'm sharing with you all of my favorite Amazon skincare, hair care, and minimalist makeup finds. I'm gonna start with skincare, starting with Cetaphil. This is their Cetaphil Very Dry Moisturizing Cream. I started using it on my grandson for his very dry eczema prone skin and ended up using it for myself. So check this out if you have super dry skin, winter and cooler months are coming and this will be one of your favorite skin savers. Another great Cetaphil find is their new Very Gentle Cleanser. Now I used Cetaphil years ago for cleansing and I found that it kind of dried my skin, but this new Very Gentle Cleanser, it's their new formulation, is fabulous. Another one of my favorite cleansers is the Aveeno Calm and Restore Cleanser. This is their oat cleanser. I can't tell you how many times I've repurchased this. It's gentle, especially for sensitive skin, and it doesn't dry out your skin. So I love this for a second cleanse. A favorite new fine cleanser is from the Beauty of Joseon store. This is their Gensing Oil Cleanser. I love an oil cleanser for a first cleanse. Whisks away all my sunscreen and makeup, and then I come in with a calming second cleanse. The Timeless Skincare Store has one of my new favorite serum finds of 2024, the Coenzyme Q10 Formula. It's a great antioxidant serum. It's hydrating, antioxidant protection, layers beautifully with skincare in the morning. I never find that it pills. So definitely check out the Timeless Store. They also have one of my favorite 20% L-ascorbic acid vitamin C formulas. Now, if you have oily skin, I don't think you're gonna like this formula. You're gonna to wanna to jump over to the dermatology store and check out the CEF Ferulic. This is a 15% L-ascorbic acid with C, E, and F. This also has the antioxidant E and F to help stabilize the L-ascorbic acid formulas, but love both of these serums. The dermatology is a little bit lighter, so if you have oily skin, I think you're definitely going to prefer this formula. It also layers a little bit better if you tend to have multiple layers in your morning skincare. It's a little less viscous. This is an exfoliating serum from Dermalect. This is their sleep serum. It has glycolic, it has BHA, so it has a little bit of salicylic, and it also has L-ascorbic acid, but it is so gentle. I use it one to two times a week for a chemical exfoliation in the evening, and my skin in the morning is absolutely baby soft. So check this out if you're looking for a great exfoliating serum for your PM routine. This is a product you guys recommended that I give a try. It's the Laneige Cream Toner. It is packed full of ceramides, so hydrating for dry skin. It's one of my go-to toners along with the Sukiyaka Suhada Urea Moisturizing Toner. I tend to use that in the summer months when it's a little more humid and reach for this in the drier fall and winter months. So this is one of my new finds that you guys recommended and I definitely am loving it. Also in the Laneige store is one of my holy grails for lips, their sleeping mask. Absolutely love this. I always have one of these near my bedside and I have the minis that ride around in my purse. A lip product that I recommend for daytime is the new K Skin. This is their lip balm SPF 30. It's really hard to find a lip balm with SPF 30 that's super moisturizing. This is fantastic and has replaced my Vanna Cream lip balm SPF 30 that I believe has been discontinued. As far as luxury skincare stores on Amazon, you cannot beat the Tatcha store. I love their new silk sunscreen. I know I've raved about it all summer long. And of course, one of my all-time luxury splurges is their dewy skin cream. I just gave my mom the water cream and she opened the box and she's like, I can't use this, it's too beautiful. I'm like, it's meant to be used, mom, you have to open it. So she is falling in love with the water cream and I am an all-time fave of the dewy skin cream. They also have their little mini bundles in the store, so definitely check those out. Two of my favorite skincare tools, devices that I'm always recommending for mature skin on my channel are available on Amazon. The Stack Dermaplaning Tool is the only dermaplaning face shaving tool that I recommend. Many end up scratching my skin. I've tried a bunch, and this is the only one that removes the dead skin cells gently, removes the vellus hair, and leaves your skin so soft and your makeup and your skincare go on your skin so much better after dermaplaning. If you have never dermaplaned before or if you're curious about face shaving, I'll leave my video tutorial down in the description. And microcurrent. 
Zip's microcurrent nanocurrent device is on Amazon. Now I'm not sure the price on Amazon is better than the price from Zip Beauty and my discount, but check it out. You never know what discounts are gonna be on Amazon. They're always popping up. And microcurrent is one of my favorite modalities for mature skin. And the Zip microcurrent nanocurrent device is the one I reach for on a daily basis for a perk up to my skin, a little bit of lift in my brow area, my absolute favorite microcurrent nanocurrent device, hands down. Moving on to some minimalist makeup finds, Summer Friday Skin Tint was one of my favorites in my ranking and reviewing of skin tints this year. If you have dry skin, you're gonna love it. If you have oily skin, it might be a little bit too emollient because it has a lot of squalene in the formula. The Thrive Tubing Mascara is a cult classic for a reason. I did include it in my tubing mascara roundup this year and it kind of ranked kind of in the middle somewhere. But what I have found is that I need a lash comb with it. If I use the Thrive comb through and then remove the little bit of residual that I get, it doesn't transfer. And I've also let it stand open for a little while. I've since learned that tubing mascaras, when they're very wet, if you leave them open for a little while and they have the opportunity to dry out just a touch, they apply so much better. That was a tip that I learned from you guys, along with picking up this lash comb, has been the perfect combination. I'm getting less fallout. I like the look a lot better because it's more of a natural look as opposed to the spidery look I was getting. The comb just helps comb out the additional clumps and smooth everything out. Thrive also has come out with some new stick shadows. I've just started playing around with these. I applied them today for a very minimalist look. The color deposit on these is very light, but I'm gonna be playing with these more. And if you haven't tried the Thrive Tubing Mascara and you've been curious, definitely check out Thrive. Euthphoria has two of my favorite products. They're blush, lip to cheek. And did you know that this actually is not a lip to cheek? I talked to them about it because I've always had trouble getting it to apply evenly on my lips, but it looks beautiful on the cheek area. And they told me that it was never designed for the lips. And I was like, what? It's a lip to cheek. And they're like, absolutely, it is not. It was not designed that way. That's why the color is a little bit uneven. Now I still use it for a little bit of a lip tint, but if you find the application is patchy, it's because it wasn't designed to be a lip tint. It was designed to be a color changing cheek tint and people were using it on the lips and a lot of the TikTok hacks, but it was never really designed that way. I still like the way it looks on the lips, but if you're getting patchy, patchy application, that's why. Euphoria also makes one of my absolute favorite primers. This is their pregame primer. If you have dry mature skin, this is a beautiful primer on its own. Sometimes I use it just as a skin tint as I do the Tula primer. Now this is available in multiple colors and be careful because not all the colors are available in the Tula store. What I've noticed is that sometimes the storefronts run out of stock and they switch you over to a third party seller. So definitely at checkout, check who you're checking out with and make sure it's the storefront. Unfortunately, my color, the Luna in the Tula primer is not available. I think it's out of stock. And I have also noticed that sometimes the stocks and the storefronts run low, so you kind of have to check back often. But at the moment, my color Luna is not available, but there are some great discounts on a couple of the other colors, as well as the untinted Tula primer. I've always enjoyed the IT Cosmetic brushes for affordable makeup brushes, but they've come out with some of my new favorite lip glosses. These are actually lip serums. Two tinted colors, and then they have a clear. Absolutely love them. They're not sticky, they hydrate the lips, and they last. Kenra makes two of my holy grail hair products, the Iconic Hairspray number 25 and the Texture Spray number six. I honestly cannot live without these hairstyling products. I buy them in jumbos, I buy them in minis. They travel with me wherever I go. Two favorites and a new find from Living Proof, the Advanced Dry Shampoo. I buy it in Jumbo, I buy it in Travels. It goes where I go as well. I also love their Bond Repair Complex. I like it more than the K18 and the Olaplex Bond Repair products. It's very lightweight and it doesn't weigh my fine thin hair down. And my gray hair turns yellow with any and all heat styling and the sun. 
I've been trying the new heat protectant spray. Now I have to go very light with this because it's a little heavy on my fine hair. If you have a heat protectant spray that's very light on the scent, which this is, let me know down in the comments. I'm looking for one. So far, this is my favorite. Usually they do sit a little bit heavy on my hair and weigh them down. So if you have a light one that really protects your lighter blonder hair or gray hair from the heat, I would love to know about it. I'm out of my favorite hair oil from OGX. That's definitely on my purchase list. I love the Miracle Coconut Oil. They also make an Argon Oil. I'm going through this one right now and it looks yellow, but it's clear because if you have light blonde or if you have gray hair, you don't wanna use a yellow oil and sleep in it overnight before you wash your hair because it will just stain your hair. But this one is clear. I prefer the Coconut Oil as opposed to the Argon Oil, but they're both wonderful products for pre treating your hair before wash day. If you have a favorite Amazon beauty products that you love, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I'm still exploring what's available on Amazon for skincare and makeup. I've always been very hesitant to purchase those types of products from Amazon until they came out with the verified storefronts and you started sharing products that you love. All the links in my storefront are from verified stores and do be careful when you check out that your purchases are from the verified stores as opposed to a third seller. I always like to caution you on that when you're purchasing from Amazon. It was what held me back for years, but there are so many more verified storefronts that there's no reason not to take advantage of all the great deals. Thanks very much for watching and wishing you all a fantastic day.